In this video, we'll learn how to create an analog clock in Microsoft Excel using VBA and graphs. So here you see an analog clock and I have a start button here. When I click on it, you see a movement in uh, the second hand and as it completes one minute, you will see some uh, movement in uh, minutes hand also. And if it completes one hour, you will see some movement in hours hand. You can stop the clock at any point by clicking this button again. So to create this from scratch, we create a new sheet here in this same Excel file and I go to VB editor. Before we start writing the code, we need to understand the logic of movement of these hands uh, by certain degrees after a certain interval and uh, that too differ for every hand. So if we take um, second hand into consideration first and I take a reference of uh, arrow here. So a hand looks like this. And it keeps on moving in clockwise direction. The one end uh, is fixed at center for all the three hands. The other end would be moving in clockwise direction. Um, and it will be completing its revolution uh, based on uh, the role it plays. If it is a second hand, it will be completing one cycle in uh, 60 seconds. And uh, so on and so forth for minutes and hours hand. So we can define it like this. Uh, we, we know that one end is fixed and if we talk in terms of graph, we can say that the coordinates of one end is always 0, 0. The coordinates of other end is changing in X as well as Y dimension. So we need two dimensions at least. Uh, so we take two coordinates, X axis and Y axis. And we can say that one end is fixed always at 0, 0. The other end is not fixed. We need to move it by certain degrees. So by certain degrees, uh, that means we need to take an angle into consideration and let's say the angle is zero and these values uh, I, I take, let's say sign off uh, this angle. So uh, this function accepts the angle in terms of radians. So I change this angle into radians first of this degrees and I take cosine here of again radians of this angle. So x is 0, y is 0 for one end, x is 0, y is 1 for second end. Now if I insert a plot here, let's say a scatter graph and let's change the data. Let's de uh, delete the default uh, that it picked automatically and let's add uh, data for our uh, hand. Uh, let's add the data for seconds hand so let's call it as second x values are we need to select the x values these are the x values what are the x uh, what are the y values so y values are here now when we hit ok you will see something like this now uh, one more thing if we look at the uh, y and x axis uh, here so the axis minimum and maximum are automatic that's why uh, you see 0 to 1 here and 0 to 1.2 here so but we make it fixed we, we change it from um, auto mode to minus 2 to 2 in uh, y and as well as x so let's change these one by one we have changed it changed it for x axis now we select the y axis and we go to format and change it from auto mode to minus 2 to 2. Now you can see that uh, the the hand something uh, looks like that one end is at 0 0 and the other end is at 0 1 which is okay. Now when we change the angle by 90 degrees so it is at 0 0 and uh, and in, uh, if we talk in terms of uh, x-axis, so at x-axis it is at y and in uh, y-axis it is at some distance. Or in, in y-axis it is at 0. And in y-axis it is at now let us see the movement of uh, seconds hand 
when it is at 0 you will see it is here when I take change it to 90 it is here when I change it to 180 it reaches here then at 270 it reaches here and when it completed completes at one revolution of 360 degrees it again comes back to the original position which is 0 degrees so now we we can write the logic here uh, because we know that every time it is going to shift by certain degrees that too we can calculate that uh, it takes uh, it completes uh, in 60 seconds how many degrees it completes uh, 360 degrees right then in one second what would be the movement in one second the movement would be 360 divided by 60 that uh, is 6 degrees now we need to see the movement after every second so when I go to VB editor and I create a new sub procedure here you can keep any name here okay so the logic is uh, I start the timer I say that start is nothing but uh, current time and then I add a loop here do loop do while timer is less than start plus one second until and unless it uh, crosses one second it keeps here inside the loop and to enable all the other events we, we enable do events and once it is over once one second is over then add one to the angle so we can give it a name to this range we can call it as uh, SEC okay so this is basically the angle similarly when we talk about minutes and uh, we'll be writing the coordinates and angles here and when we're talking about our hand we'll be writing the parameters here so first of all let us complete the logic for seconds hand let's go back to the VB editor we know that if after every second we need to uh, rotate the or we need to move the seconds hand by six degrees so we can say because we have kept the name of angle uh, uh, as SEC so its value changes by six degrees so I am adding 6 to it but when it reaches 360 degrees when it completes at one cycle I want to reset it to 0 so that uh, the value does not reach at an infinite level after a certain interval of time so I add a condition here that if SEC becomes uh, becomes 360 degree in that case simply reset the value to 0 so this is how uh, it will be resetting and then again it will start from 0 and move up to 360 so after this this is a movement for one second only but we want to repeat this action uh, uh, infinitely or you can say until user wants to stop it so for that we need to recursively call this function over and again so we'll be calling this function here now when I run this you will see the movement so it appears like a second hand but one thing is still missing we do not see any arrow in front of this second hand so for that I'm stopping this macro and I specifically select that uh, graph here and go to format here you have line styles it begins with let's say a circle and it ends let's say with this and if you want to change the color and other properties you can change from there and I do not want this I do not want this and I make it equal in terms of length and breadth so that I see a good uh, movement so I go to a VB editor and when I run it again you will see something like this now let us complete the logic for minutes and hours hand so again it is very simple that we we know that after every 60 seconds we need to rotate or move the minutes hand by 6 degrees so we can say here uh, when it reaches 360 or when it when a second hand completes a 360 degrees uh, rotation in that case reset the seconds angle to uh, 0 and increment uh, the minutes angle by 6 degrees so if I take minutes angle here and it's uh, one coordinates are fixed at 0 0 other coordinates are at let's say sine of uh, radians of 
minutes angle this one and this one is equal to cosine of radians of this angle similarly for our hand we have let's say angle here uh, original coordinates at 0 other coordinates are sine of radians of this angle and this one is cosine of radians of this angle right so we'll be changing this to six degrees then uh, uh, we, we will see another movement here in the minute hand but we have not yet plotted that minute hand uh, minute hand so we go to charts and go to select data we need to add another hand here we'll name it as minute hand okay and its data points are nothing but these two for x and the other two for y okay so we need to add one for our hand also so for our hand uh, x coordinates are these and y coordinates are these okay so we have three uh, lines now we do not see three because these two are overlapping so let's say i make it as 60 uh, so now you can see three but we need to again change the formatting uh, we go here and change the line style begins uh, begin style with this and end type with this okay so now this one is for our hand and uh, the other one is red which is minute sand so we can select that as well uh, you need to click on the hand specifically go to right and simply right click on it okay and then format data series line style begin type is this and end type is this one thing to notice is you know, all the hands are equal in, in terms of uh, uh, the length but uh, generally we see that these hands are not of equal length so we take another argument here length okay we specify that uh, second hand uh, let's say it is the largest one and because we have coordinates from minus 2 to 2 so we won't be exceeding the length by 2 so we'll keep it let's say 1.7 for uh, second hand 1.5 for minute hand and 1.3 or 1.2 for our hand but we need to reflect the changes in terms of uh, coordinate basically the x and y coordinates because it will be moving in both the dimensions so we will be multiplying this with the length uh, what happened we will be multiplying this with this same with uh, this argument y axis okay and for this also we'll be multiplying with this one and here we'll be multiplying with this and the last one something like this so now you will see the difference in dimensions and every time when you can change it let's say when you keep it 1.3 you will see some changes in the hour hand also uh, minutes hand also so second hand is largest and then the uh, minutes hand and then the uh, hours hand uh, we can also make changes in terms of weight uh, so we go to format and uh, we go to line style we can change the weight to let's say uh, 4 for for minutes hand, uh, for hours hand okay and we can do some changes in minutes as well as uh, second hand generally uh, second hand is uh, the slimmest one and the largest one so let's change to this and this one let's keep it as it is now we also do not need these need these two so we can remove so that it appears more like a clock okay but we have not yet written logic to change the position of minutes and hours and so when it completes uh, 360 degrees when it reaches 360 degrees we need to make changes in minutes but we need to name it we have kept sec for seconds angle we'll keep minu t for minutes angle and we'll keep hr for hours angle okay so for minute minut is equal to previous value of minute 
plus 6 degrees after every uh, 360 rotation of seconds hand 360 degree rotation that means 60 seconds and uh, we also need to add one condition that if uh, minute hand reaches 360 degrees in that case what do we need to do in that case we need to reset the minute hand to zero and our hand will shift by six degrees okay and then uh, we can add one more condition for our hand if this one reaches 360 degrees then we need to reset it to zero that's all we no, do not need any further changes after this so now when we run you will see movement and seconds hand and as it keeps on reaching towards uh, uh, the, the 360 degree angle you will see a minor or slight movement of in uh, the minutes and also the red one so it is reaching close five seconds after five seconds you will see slight movement in red one also so here it is so this way you will see movement in hours minutes and uh, seconds hand and this is nothing but a clock further you can uh, design it or you can uh, change the formatting of every area just go to plot area and make it fill with a template uh, with, with a solid color gradient or a pattern whatever you like in any way so I have chosen specifically like this one something like this you can choose whatever you like uh, in terms of your colors also if, if you want light colors choose the one whatever you want okay and uh, let's say something like this not looking good okay something like this let's say all right so and we we can go here for my chart area we can make it solid and make it more dark like this so so that's all uh, you can further change the formatting and do uh, uh, any type of tweaks with this clock and make it uh, look like this if you have any questions on this example feel free to uh, write to me or call me um, i'll be waiting for your queries and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit like on these videos thank you very much my name is kamal and i'm part of extreme excel